game, Odell Beckham Jr. went over to Debo Samuel and consulted him and basically said, hey, man, I know how you feel. I've had a shit cool quarterback before. Now, he didn't say say, say, say that, but you saw them hugging and you know talking for a very, very long time. So, Combs, after you've seen Odell Beckham Jr. console Debo Samuel at the end of that championship game, has your opinion of him changed? No. Uh, he's still the same guy that quit on the Cleveland Browns. He's still the same guy that was throwing, you know, uh, 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 got Baker Mayfield under the bus, you know, uh, kind of clowning him for the commercials that he does, clowning him for making his money. And just because he wasn't getting the ball as much as he wanted to, he wasn't being used in the way that he felt like he should be used. And so for me, that that just shows right there to what his character is. Now, yes. Was it a good moment for him going over to Debo Samuel? Sure. He and Debo Samuel are most notably friends. They, they, they hang out in the off season. They train together. They do all that stuff. So it, it was a nice moment amongst friends, but he's still not a good teammate. He's still not one of those guys that I want in my locker room. He's still not, one of those guys that I want donning my uniform. And, and, and that that didn't change just because he had one good moment. I mean, I've seen Antonio Brown have some good moments too, right? I mean, it, so it's just one of those things where you, you kind of, you can't pull the wool over my eyes just because you have one good gesture, right? One good gesture doesn't undo a whole career full of bad deeds.